Norse Falcons hosting an FCS opponent for the second straight season and back-to-back -back shutouts to open a season. While Air Force got it going early, less than five minutes in, Arian Worthman lets you catch up here. Oh, there's the flyover. Now back to the game. Arian Worthman goes in around the, the right side for the touchdown. Falcons lead 7-0. And the defense was really strong today. Kyle Johnson intercepting the route, breaks the tackle, then returns it for 13 yards for the pick six. 14-0 Falcons. They had a ton of momentum. And then this happened. Weather delay, 30-minute lightning delay. Falcons came out and scored a touchdown before a second one. Almost back-to-back -back weather delays at Falcon Stadium, but Air Force able to weather the storm. Isaiah Sanders in for Worthman. Cashes in on a one-yard run to make it 31-0. Falcons win 38-0, but Worthman said there's still a lot to improve on right now. We definitely got to get better. Um, there's no question uh, moving on forward to FAU and, uh, and uh, um, Mountain West play. We definitely got to improve in every asset, reads, uh, checks, ball security, blocking, uh, route running, everything. We got, we got to improve in all, everywhere. Grant Meach has more from Falcon Stadium tonight. Well, Laura, Air Force football off and running in the 2018 season and a nice way to start things off. 38 nothing shutout victory against Stony Brook this afternoon at Falcon Stadium. And other than the weather that came through, the spotlight was on the defense this afternoon. 75 total yards of offense, one of their best performances in Air Force history. 30 yards rushing, 45 passing. They allowed just four first downs on the afternoon. Coming off one of their worst seasons in Academy history, the 2018 defense would like to make that a distant memory. But try to get past how last season was and move on to a new team, a new defense. Did it fuel you as motivation? I think it did. I think uh, focusing on just having fun out there and just being as physical as we can, like I said earlier, just having fun. And I think that paid off and it showed. But a lot of the guys, the younger guys that were coming up and playing, just are naturally more aggressive in their mannerisms and in the way they act and who they are on the field. And that kind of showed today. We weren't always where we wanted to be. And uh, we made some changes and they paid off. And the stakes only get higher next week as the Falcons hit the road for the first time this year and they take on up and coming Florida Atlantic University led by head coach Lane Kiffin. Head to KOAA.com for all your news and updates and all things Air Force football. From Falcon Stadium, Grant Meach, News 5 Sports.